Osha Raymond is begging to be part of Afro Beat. What's up, guys? Your boy again, Adam Slink. How you guys doing? Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope you guys are very much doing okay. Please try as much as possible, firstly, to like this video, then comment as you watch and uh, share it on all social platforms if you can and uh, invite your friends, your loved ones, your enemy, everyone possible to join the big family, Adam Slink. Well, Osha Raymond is begging to be part of Afrobeat. You know, Afrobeat is going through the roof currently with the help of uh, some of our superstars, like Rema, who has one of the biggest records from Afrobeat ever, and Whiskey, who is absolutely killing it, and Africa Giant himself, who is currently on tour and sending out venues, and not just only that, the whole be who david do himself with their own available and so many other eats record you know everybody just want to be close to afrobeat artists just want to have that name afrobeat associated with them most especially these uh africa america superstars well osha is one of our brothers because of the color but sorry you can't be part of afrobeat of course, we can only share little with you, but you can't be part of Afro Afrobeat. You never came to Nigeria when you came to Africa. You were never in Nigeria. So please, you went to Ghana and you visited other countries, but you never came to Nigeria. So you cannot be a part of Afrobeat. And meanwhile, you haven't been to Nigeria. I see a lot of entertainers out there. I see a lot of young musicians abroad, white <laughs> creating Afrobeat music. How can you create Afrobeat music and not be to Nigeria before? No, now, come on now. You must come to the motherland to know how well we create it over here before calling yourself, you no, know, before saying you want to be part of Afrobeat. But Afrobeat, we are not selfish. We can share. And Osha Ramon has, uh, in a way, assisted some of our artists. You know, he's dropped an album recently featuring in that album it featured two of our superstars border boy and Fields, which is really really absolutely nice oh. but that's nasty enough to make you part of afrobeat osha we are afraid you know why we are afraid the word afrobeat that gr afrobeat will be hijacked by the west you saw what they did to us at the grammys how they made a Grammy, how they made a song that is whitewashed, a whitewashed song. The song is incredible. It's incredible. Uh, firstly, let me put that as straight. The song is incredible, and that is a song by Tyler Water. That song is massive, really, really nice. But there's no way they should have associated that song with Africa with Afrobeat. There is nothing about Africa in that song. There is nothing, absolutely nothing. That song belongs to Ara and B. Jack. So they should have put it below Ara and B. But you know, they are trying as much as possible to whitewash this word Afrobeat. They are to whitewash the word Africa songs. You know, come on, man. Can you tell us how the Burner Boy feature came about? And um, why did you decide to put him on this song? Well, I'm all about collaboration and bringing, um, you know, Africa and, you know, kind of Nigerian culture, you know, to my audience. This was something, obviously, that's, that's, you know, really popular right now, but I wanted to be a part of it. I traveled to Africa and making this album, and I picked up things when I was there in Ghana. I picked up things when I was in Nigeria and working with Fields. Um, he created the record. I just, I just felt like Burner uh, would have, you know, taken, given it a different level of, you know, of um, credibility. And you know, I just, I really do enjoy, you know, him as an artist solo. But I just felt like this song, you know, would would only be lifted better if he was a part of it. Let me be honest with you. I do not know. Osha was never in Nigeria. Was ever in, was Osha in Nigeria that I never knew? Like. Osha was never in Nigeria. Osha no come Nigeria. 
Osha no come Nigeria. I don't remember Osha coming to Nigeria, but I remember Osha going to Ghana. But not Nigeria. You were never in Nigeria. Please, he, I don't know, maybe I might be wrong, maybe he didn't announce it, but a whole usher cannot come to Nigeria and the, uh, the world doesn't know about it. Just few persons. Usher was never, Usher was never in Nigeria. Never. Never. So, uh, Usher said he want to be, want to be part of Afrobeat. Well, you are welcome, but... Our fear is that you guys will, will whitewash it. You will not really, you will not really, you know, know how to really represent Afrobeat really, really well. Just like the Latino songs, you know, just like Haro and B. Nigerian, Nigeria entertainers. Over the past few years, who have tried just singing pure R and B, they are not that popular. But when you mix R and B and Afro B together, you see you get a really unique sound. Someone like a Chris Brown, how Chris Brown has been able to fuse himself with Afro beat over the years, since the days of uh, Whiskey. Chris Brown was able to fuse himself into Afro beat, and Chris Brown is one of the most important. Um, artists, world artists that are very, very important to Afrobeat culture. Let us not forget that. You see the massive collaboration with, with uh, him and Davido over the past few years, successful collaboration. Even Davido said it himself. Thank Davido for, uh, thank Davido once thank Whiskey for able to generate over 30 million US dollars for him through their collaboration and so many other projects they have worked together. Mm -hmm. So big up to uh, Chris Brown and big up to Osha. But let us know, guys. Uh, please kindly leave your comment below. Do you want Osha to be part of Afrobeat? Should we allow him to be part of Afrobeat because he's begging currently? He's begging. He said he want to be part of Afrobeat. Osha, should we allow him to be Part of Afrobeat, will he be able to to understand Afrobeat just the way we understand Afrobeat? Will he be able to represent Afrobeat just the way we want Afrobeat to be represented? Will he be able to not hijack our Afrobeat because this is how we we are going to allow other people to just um, fully come into Afrobeat and uh, the next couple of years, thirty years from now, you will. Our history will be erased. You won't even know where Afrobeat started from. <laughs> you won't even know where Afrobeat started from. And the West, we hijack everything, you know. So we need to be extremely careful with the world, with our Jia. It's our very own. Just like how South Africans are fighting dearly for the Ama piano, holding it tight to make sure no Nigeria, non anybody from anywhere is able to hijack it. You know, Ama piano belongs to south africa let us get that straight so that being said let's talk about whiskey album that's coming out you know whiskey is still really really quiet and i don't think it's good for his business so far you know bonner boy is the person doing the big big stuff currently is the person doing the big big stuff going out to perform you know breaking boundaries and everything but uh, Whisk and David do also break, breaking boundaries and uh, announcing tour date. MSG, uh, David do will be shutting it down really, really soon. But what about, what about Whiskey? Whiskey fans are starving. Of course, he dropped an EP, which is really, really nice. But that EP, a lot of fans were still really disappointed by that EP. Let me not be, let me be honest. The review was not so favorable. But now he said album mode. So I think his album is ready. So, but the date is not fixed yet for Whiskey album. So I am patiently, patiently waiting for Whiskey album. You know, I'm part of the culture. I love the culture. I want to promote the culture. You know, I want to really love all the artists in the culture. So Whiskey, we are waiting for you to drop that album really, really soon. And I bet. It will definitely, definitely, definitely be 
a real massive success already. You know, Wizkid are some of the most incredible fans when it comes to Afrobeat. Really, really chilled. No social media buzz. No social media gossip to get him up there. He just have some really loyal fan who is going to support him regardless of how many months, how many days he decided he decide not to ever sing. Yes, if he decided not to sing for five years, Whiskey will definitely still sustain his loyal fans. You know, crazy. Big up Whiskey. We are waiting for you to drop that album really, really soon. So thank you guys for watching Boy Adam's Link. Have a wonderful day. Stay blessed. Catch you next time.